so glad to see so many of our friends, our partners, the media, our public officials. Thank you guys for all of your years of support. You know, as we talked about, you know, what's going on with the future of SeaWorld, we all began to get so excited and, and think about it's time to really make it a, a statement. And today is all about that statement. You know, we ask you guys to come here and support the call for a reason. Because we're going on a journey. It's going to be an incredible journey. You're going to see what the new SeaWorld is all about. What the future of SeaWorld is all about. You're going to see SeaWorld at its finest. You're going to be completely immersed in attractions that take you places you never thought you would go. And I'm glad to see all your smiling faces right here. But to see it and really feel it, we have to take this journey. And I will be your tour guide today. We'll have one place to go, and this will be the start of an incredible journey. So if you'll follow my friends through these doors, you will start a journey that you will not forget. So let's go. So, my name is Brian Morrow. I'm the creative director here at SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment. 
And before we get started, I want to explain a little bit about what that title even means and what I do. I have the honor of leading an amazing team of designers and talented artists that design all the attractions and the experiences that you see within our parks. And we're here today to tell you we've been very, very busy in the past few years working behind the scenes, preparing for just this day. I'm excited because I get to give you a sneak peek today of what we've been working on. These new attractions we're going to talk about are new standards. Uh, they're bigger, they're bolder, and they're the best things we've ever done. Yet they're still anchored in kind of what SeaWorld's all about. Our brand DNA hasn't changed, uh, bringing guests closer together to each other and to this natural place that we all share. The attractions are completely immersive. They allow our guests to bond with each other, make those connections with the natural world in ways that are very unique, and more importantly, uniquely personal. That's kind of new for us. We're really going to get into a personal discussion on these attractions, which will be very new and very exciting. Um, so the, the attractions as well are uniquely to Orlando. Uh, they were designed specifically for this park in this market and you can't see them or experience them anywhere else on the planet. They're ours, and we're very proud of them. I'm gonna show you all of them here in a second. And so, Terry mentioned that we're going on a big journey today, and so we get to kind of figure where we want to go first. It's kind of an interactive thing. So, who's in favor of going to somewhere tropical and lush, um, rich and exotic, like a mini vacation? So, yeah. man, let, okay, let's go to Discovery Cove. Where's this cocktail? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Discovery Cove. At the core of everybody's guest experience at Discovery Cove is the intimate and personal connection and activity with nature. It's a very special place. And in spring of 2012, we're going to open up the next chapter of Discovery Cove with the Freshwater Oasis. And this place is truly an oasis. It's actually best described as a tropical hideaway. It will allow our guests to explore and walk around trails filled with water flooded from the forest and experience any animals they haven't seen before and some other little secrets. So let's talk about animals first, we're all here about. The first group of animals our guests will encounter is a wonderful troop of marmoset primates. These guys are gonna be all in the trees, just out of reach on the edge of the river trail, and they're gonna be all over the all over the, the trees and the branches and down by the river's edge, and these are gonna be a kid's favorite because they're really energetic and they're always busy doing something. I don't know what they do all day long, but they're just very busy doing all the things that they like to do. Moving along, they're gonna experience a cenote, which is a flooded sinkhole found in South America. And after they make it through that little cenote, they're gonna be in a canyon. And in this cool canyon, they're gonna find a family of Asian river otters. And these guys were selected because they're very playful, very energetic, and they like to swim, and our guests will be swimming. So what's better to swim side by side with a group of otters? We thought, we're gonna do that. Other things you can do at the Freshwater Oasis, we want above and below water experiences. We have secluded beaches. This is the perfect place to kind of sneak away from the crowds and have a private swim. It's everyone's you know, utopia vacation, a private beach to myself, me and my family. We got it there. And my favorite, of course, is the flooded terrace. You can see it here on the walls. The flooded terrace is the place that you can unwind and kind of put the period on the end of your Discovery Cove day. It's very unique, it's very tropical, and it's quite exotic. I'm looking forward to it myself. So, that's it on the, flood, on the uh, freshwater oasis. But we have another big park across the street, you know, the one we're standing in, SeaWorld Orlando. So let's take a jump across the street to SeaWorld Orlando, but let's go deeper, like completely underwater. SeaWorld Orlando, we're going to talk about something different. In spring of 2012, we'll be opening Turtle Trek. And Turtle Trek will be a once in a lifetime journey for our guests alongside a wonderful sea turtle. We're going to put the guests underwater with the animals on an amazing journey, a legendary journey throughout her life. Turtle Trek is best described, I'm going to say a bunch of big words, and we'll talk about them later, right? It's best described as a 3D, 360 dome experience. It's the first one on the planet that we're going to be able to project 3D content 
on the walls, and over the guest heads. It's never been done before. I've seen the testing, the mock-ups. It's really cool. Uh, can't wait for everybody to see it. But it's going to be an amazing way to tell the story of being underwater with these animals. But let's take a couple steps back and talk about the attraction as a whole. When guests first enter Turtle Trek, the first creatures they're going to meet are actually the manatees. The manatees are very important to the SeaWorld Rescue and, and Return Program, that we care for the animals, we help them, we do return them, and some can't be returned, we have to care for them long term. And manatees and SeaWorld have a long history. These animals also have, have a long history with our guests, they've been here for a long time. We've had manatee encounters for quite, quite some time since the 80s. And since then, our guests have made simple changes in their behaviors by what they've learned at Manatee Encounter, which has helped this animal. And so we're going to learn that we can actually make changes in ourselves to help animals out in the wild. The doors are going to open, and our guests will move forward to the next room. In this room, they're going to meet their guide, an educator. And this educator is going to introduce them to the sea turtles, what everybody came to see. The sea turtles also have amazing stories to tell. Actually, they're really unique is that they each have their own story. And they each had their own story as how they came to Sea World Orlando for us to help them. And since we started helping and rescuing sea turtles, we've released over 1,200. That's a lot of sea turtles. We've done a lot of work ourselves. We don't mind doing all that heavy lifting. But it's really going to be a little bit about what the guests can do to help them. And they're going to learn about one special thing that all these turtles have in common. And that's they all have a legendary journey. And this journey, they take over many oceans and hundreds of thousands of miles in their lifetime. And our guests are going to enter into the 3D theater to experience this journey for themselves. They're going to go underwater in the 3D dome, sphere theater, and experience the turtles' journey themselves. They're going to experience the beauty, and it's going to be wonderful. There's a shipwreck they get to see, all these cool places. They're also going to meet some other animals underwater, and they're also going to meet some friends. And along the way, they're going to experience all the trials and the challenges and the beauty of being in this amazing underwater world. So how does this all work? Well, we're creating a brand new film. It's all CGI, and the content is so rich and so real, it's actually considered hyper-real. It's a new level of movie content that we're creating specifically for this attraction. The images will be so rich and so delicious that the guests are really going to think they're underwater with these amazing animals swimming around. But that's not all. we got all the technology. It's working behind the scenes. It's going to be amazing. The big change to this attraction makes it very personal to our guests, and this is a big move for us, is to become very personalized in these experiences, is that they will actually learn through the turtle's journey and at the end of this film experience and into the post-show experience. It's not really about what SeaWorld can do to help animals. Like I said, we'll do the heavy lifting, no problem. We like to do that. But it's really about what the individuals, our guests, you guys, can do as individuals to make a change. And we're going to teach them how to become everyday heroes. So this is a new word that we're using to describe what our guests can do as individuals to make a change. And all those guests around the global ocean, the planet, because everyone comes to Central Florida from all over the world, can take that back. And together we can do simple things to form a global web of global good around the ocean and make a difference. So that's Turtle Trek opening in 2012 at SeaWorld Orlando. But Terry mentioned a really big journey. Let me get him back up here, and he's got some He's got a new outfit. He's got a scarf. Oh, yeah. So, you're going somewhere cold? Very cold. Well, then I'm leaving. Okay. Well, Cheers. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we are going somewhere cold. I'm going very cold. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As you heard Brian describe, the two projects coming online in 2012 are projects that only SeaWorld could deliver. We're going to take people places they've never gone before. And when you think about all of the millions of people that we've been able to connect with, and allow them to celebrate the natural world. This is just another extension of that. And we're gonna take it farther. And you're probably wondering, why would he wear this scarf in this hot room? Well, I know something you don't know. I know where our next trip is, our next step in this journey. And it's gonna be somewhere down south. We're not gonna go all the way down there. We're gonna bring it to you. We're gonna take a trip to the South Pole. And if everyone's ready for that trip, you might want to button up your top buttons because we're going there and you will see the South Pole. If you will follow my friends, we're going this way, and we're going south.
and welcome to Antarctica. Now, Antarctica, yes, incredible job here because Antarctica is a land that is composed of 98% ice. It is the coldest, windiest, driest, and most unique continent on the planet. It is like being in another world. Of all the places that I've traveled to, Antarctica is the most incredible, the most different, and it's got the most amazing wildlife. Let me talk to you a little bit about our friends here in front of me. We've got a couple of different species of Antarctic penguins. We've got the Gentoos, which are right in front of you. That's actually the third largest species of penguin there, uh, coming down from the emperor and the kings. And these guys will uh, nest right off of the shores of some of the islands on the outer parts of Antarctica. The same as these little guys with the cool head here. <laughs> Those are called rockhopper penguins. And they're probably one of the most distinctive species because of those cool feathers there. They're also one of the most active. So that's why they love being up high. They like getting a good view. They, they're going to use rocks and other materials to make a nest. And in the harshest conditions imaginable, they're going to mate and raise their young. Now, Antarctica is a place that is not easy to survive in, even if you are a penguin. Not all species of penguins actually are found in Antarctica. There are 18 different species of penguins, but only a handful can withstand the extreme weather and temperature that are found there. And even so, it's still a very thin line between life and death. Antarctica is truly the land at the edge of the earth, and very few people get a chance to go there. I was very fortunate enough to be able to go last year and see what this incredible land was like. And we at SeaWorld are going to bring you closer than you ever imagined to Antarctica. So we want to tell you a little bit more about it. And my penguin friends here were, were wanting to, to say something, but they're not too vocal right now. So instead, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring Brian back, our creative genius, Brian, who's going to bring us into the realm of the penguin. Absolutely. Thanks, Julie. I dressed appropriately. Everyone else looks a little cold. It's perfect for these guys. These guys love this cold weather, right? Well, as Julie mentioned, Antarctica happens to be at the bottom of the globe. How awesome does that sound? But outside of being super remote and super cold and icy, it's actually a land full of amazing adventures and incredible stories that have never been told. So we went and we found all these stories, and we're going to tell them to our guests. And we're going to bring, in 2013, to SeaWorld Orlando, the continent of Antarctica, to Central Florida. Get ready for it. It's SeaWorld's Antarctica, Empire of the Penguin. This amazing experience is best described as a world within a world. We are going to build the world of Antarctica in SeaWorld Orlando for our guests to experience and have the opportunity to do amazing things and step out onto the epic ice of Antarctica, which I think is the best way to describe a place that's made of ice this epic. And the center of this whole world that we're going to construct is one iconic attraction that can't be missed. There's many things to do, but there's one that can't be missed. And that iconic attraction, I can't tell you a lot about today. We're going to tell you more about that later sometime. But what I am allowed to say is that it will be considered Orlando's most thrilling family adventure. And the word family is incredibly important to this attraction. Because much like our communities and our families as humans, these wonderful creatures have a lot of similarities to us, and we're going to learn how, as a family unit, we can survive and thrive in this epic ice environment. The ride will allow our guests to experience the wonder and the beauty, and, of course, the challenges and the thrills of living in this extreme environment. And when I say extreme, I mean every single part of Antarctica will be there, including the temperatures. This will be the world's coldest attraction ever constructed, and it will be right here at SeaWorld Orlando. So, that's all I can talk about it. You can look at the logo some more. But, <laughs> but uh, so in 2013, SeaWorld Antarctica comes to 
Seawall Orlando, Empire of the Penguin. Who's ready to go? got your friends here. I mean, this is an incredible, this will be one incredible attraction. As we said earlier, we take people on journeys. SeaWorld takes people where they could never go unless they come into our park. And in 2013, we will take people to the South Pole. Or, as Brian said, we'll bring the South Pole to Central Florida. And we want to thank you guys because throughout this day, you know, as this journey, through this journey, one thing that continues to go through my mind is that SeaWorld is going to be making waves in the future. We continue to make waves, and these are huge waves, waves that will change the landscape of what we think theme parks are all about. When you come to our parks, the experiences that you will share with your families will be like none other, and we will deliver experiences that will change the way you feel about the natural world. It's all about celebrating, connecting, and caring, and that's what this is all about. We'll do the heavy lifting, but we want to make sure that we share with our guests what they can do as individuals to make a difference. So, the journey's not over, because outside these doors, there's going to be some hot chocolate and coffee, and some of our other friends waiting for you. So, I want to thank all of you for coming out today, and don't forget that in 2012 and 2013, we will continue to make waves in Orlando. So, thanks a lot, guys.